Hi, this is Cisco UC320W tutorial. Cisco UC320W is a small yet powerful PBX for small businesses under 24 users. This tutorial will show you how to set up a typical small business with a human response as opposed to an automated response. This video will show you a typical receptionist phone and how her keys are and how she can use it, a typical backup operator who is a backup to the receptionist, how a receptionist will transfer and park calls to the different employees in our office and what happens when the receptionist is not available or if she is busy. The story starts in a small business called Oscar Auto Parts. There are four characters in the story. Rachel Receptionist who takes most of the end customer calls. Ron the Accountant who takes some calls when Rachel is not available. Oscar Office Manager who is the big boss and Peter Parts Specialist. This is Rachel's phone. Rachel takes all her incoming calls on line 1, which has extension 0. She also has a personal extension and two park slots. On her sidecar, she has BLF buttons to all her colleagues, right here. BLF buttons act as speed dials, and they also show statuses of the targets. She has intercom buttons to all her colleagues to make quick announcements, and she has voicemail buttons to transfer incoming customer calls to the voicemail, just in case they're not available. She also has a page button, a group pickup button, and a force night button. This is Ron's phone. Ron pretty much has the same setup as Rachel. The only thing he has extra is he has a pickup button to Rachel's phone. This button will light up when Rachel's phone rings. As you can see, Rachel's phone is ringing right now, and Ron's pickup light is blinking. He could choose to pick up the call by hitting this button. As you can see, Rachel is receiving a call. She picks up to find out that the call is for Oscar. She can transfer the call to Oscar by using his BLF button. Oscar's BLF button is indicating that Oscar is not on the phone, so she is ready to transfer the call to Oscar now. She can complete the transfer by, by hitting Oscar's BLF button. This is a one button transfer and the transfer happens right after she hits that button. Now Oscar can pick up the call and talk to the customer. The next call that Rachel receives is for Peter. She answers the call and she wants to transfer the call over to Peter. She does not know where Peter is. Peter is checking inventory in the warehouse. So she parks the call on park slot 1 and then pages Peter and lets him know there's a call on park slot 1. Peter walks over to the closest phone and picks the call up from park slot 1 by hitting the park slot button. When Rachel is unable to answer the phone because she's either on another call or she's too busy to answer the phone, after a specified period of time, the call rolls over to Ron's phone. Ron's phone is now ringing as Rachel hasn't picked up. When Rachel wants to take a break and she wants to delegate all control to Ron, she simply hits the D&D &D button and then she goes into the Do Not Disturb mode. All calls will be routed to Ron automatically. 